All right, welcome back folks. Thanks for joining me on this today, on this video today. This is gonna be my thoughts <clears throat> and my likes about the 12,000 XP. I have had it in for just over two months. Let's go over what I like about it, what I dislike about it. Uh, first of all, Signature Solar will hook you up with one of these. Uh, they have all your solar needs. Everything you'd ever want is there. Uh, they have fantastic help, tech support, customer service, sales support. If you want to size your system according to what your power draw is on your house, they will help you with that. They have not, been nothing but helpful. They have a ton of videos online as well uh, on YouTube. They will be glad to help you out. So thank you, Signature Solar, on that. There are links below for this 12,000 XP and the Walmart batteries. If you like supporting the channel, you can use my coupon code and that will save you $50 on your order of $500 or more. And that is on top of any sort of deals or sales they have. So also there are some other links for uh, Amazon down below, uh, other products that I've used. Any of those links will help out support the channel. So I appreciate if you use them. Thank you. Uh, on to the 12,000. What do I think? My initial thoughts are, that is way bigger than the 6,000 I had in here, that's for sure. Uh, it's super quiet. Uh, I would tell you there's fan, all four of these fans are running right now. I wouldn't even know it unless you looked at them. I've had some pretty good sized loads on here and it's still very quiet. Setup was pretty easy. It's just like the 6,000. It pretty much comes set up for an EG4 battery, which is great. Uh, there were a few settings I changed. I don't have the rapid shutdown system on here because, well, I don't need it right now. I don't have anything tied in completely. So it's just in here for temporary testing purposes. It's going to be getting ripped out here at the end of the month. Uh, I'm working on the new house right now. So I'm going to be start moving stuff over there. I'll be dropping videos on that progress too as well. So stick around if you want to see that. EG4 has been around for a while. The 12,000 is pretty new. Uh, I did have one hiccup. I explained that in my last video. Uh, I had to update the firmware, which was my fault. I didn't do that right away when I got it. So I ran it for about a week. It started tripping out on over, over current, I think it was. And that was just trying to run my microwave. And there was like nothing else running in the house. So it should have easily handled that because it actually did before, which is kind of funny. So I got on the phone with Signature Solar. Peyton and tech support helped me out, checked things over. He's like, looks like you need a firmware update. So we took care of that over the web, which is one great thing about the EG4 app and their web portal they have. Remote support, fantastic thing. So he dumped the new firmware on there for me. He's like, hey, it's gonna do a couple of reboots. That'll do its thing. And uh, after that, it's been fine. Been rock solid since, so. Okay, so what am I running with this? It is tied into my 200 amp panel for my entire property, which may sound like a lot, but it's really not. We're pretty efficient, I guess, people. We don't have a lot of huge things that draw power. The only big thing we have that draws power is our electric water heater, and that's a 4,500 watt electric water heater. So that takes quite a bit of power. When I had the 6,000 running my house, <laughs> the water heater could run, and the well pump could kick on and I could have some lights on and that was about it. You get more than that and it would trip out. So this thing, and also when the 6,000 was running those few things, those fans were going like crazy. It was pretty, I can't say loud because they weren't really that loud, but I mean, you could hear the fans going. Uh, this thing, it like just a small breeze when the water heater kicks on. It's, 4,500 watts for this thing is nothing. Uh, I got a 2,500 watt dishwasher that runs. I have my microwave, which is like 1,800 watts. Um, I run a couple space heaters in the house at times. We're just coming into spring now here in Wisconsin. So this is our first like super warm day and it's like 79 degrees right now. Yesterday, the high was 50. So it's Wisconsin. Tomorrow it's only supposed to be like 60 for high. So it's up and down. So when I have excess solar power and battery power, 
I would just run a couple electric heaters in the house and that's enough just to take the chill out. The most I have personally seen on the output that I've run through was about 9,400 watts. It was somewhere around there. I got a screenshot, I'll throw it up here so you can see it. Uh, I don't even know what I was running, but it was a lot of stuff. I'm sure the water heater was running. I probably had electric heaters running. Uh, I probably turned on a microwave. Uh, well pump probably kicked on in there because I was probably running the water or doing dishes or something. Um, we have no problem running like our major appliances all at the same time with the water heater going. So just this morning, washer was going, dryer was running. It's a gas dryer. Uh, dishwasher was running, water heater was running, microwave was going, lights were on in the house because it was still dark out yet. Uh, no issues. This thing has just been a beast. So there was a couple days uh, last weekend I was running some woodworking equipment. I have a table saw, I have a chop saw, um, jigsaw. I was running a four inch grinder, cutting some rebar apart for concrete at the new place and yeah, it's no problems at all. It's been solid. Uh, when I was running the 6000 XP, I could not run my table saw. There was too big of a difference between the legs on the 240 that it could not handle that single leg draw of like 2,500 or 3,000 watts that my table saw pulls. So that was kind of a bummer. I had to fire up my little gas generator out there and plug it into that to run it. So. 12,000, no issues, just burns right through it. I believe when I talked to Signature Solar Tech Support, there is a 4,500 watt leg difference between the 240 volts, um, which is a pretty significant amount, which is great. That's one big plus with the 12,000. Uh, like I said, I have been running this thing since March 20th is when I fired this thing up and hooked it up for the first time. And it, today it is May 6th, 2025. So last month, um, the month of April, I ran this thing the entire month, except for I was out of town for four days till Monday uh, afternoon when I got home from work to switch it back over to the 12,000. And I only used 117 kilowatts on my electric bill for April. The previous year was, um, significantly more than that. I'll throw a screenshot up of the, the comparison to the bills um, so you can see the difference in kilowatt hours that I used. Uh, pretty cool, pretty neat being able to run my whole house, my entire property off of this inverter and just two of the wall mount batteries and only 12 solar panels. I have 12 solar panels. I'll show you out there. Well, there are my other videos too. I just made some quick ground mounts for testing. I threw them up in front of my house. And those are the Aptos 440 watt bifacials, up to 550 watts. And those things are super great. They are very efficient panels. They have outperformed, outperformed my expectations, to be honest with you. Um, when I had those out there, when I have them out there, uh, middle of the day when they get like peak sun, I can actually almost get the peak 550 watts out of each one of those eight panels. Uh, it's pretty crazy. They're very efficient. So I highly recommend Aptos solar panels. They're fan superb. They're fantastic. They're built great. Their connectors are super heavy duty. Um, good solid frames on them. They're highly rated for wind and snow load too. So if you're roof mounting them, you have no issues there. So I'll throw another screenshot up here of to this day, how much power it's produced for me. So 759 kilowatts of solar, this thing has brought in. 579.5 kilowatts I've, it's put out for me. Uh, that is on the load breaker. That's another, whatever it is on the screenshot of battery charging, it's also done. So it's really been a workhorse. It's done great. It, um, if you're looking at the 12,000s, I would highly recommend them. Any of the EG4 products are 
fantastic build quality. They have fantastic warranties. You can't beat the tech support you get. Um, I'm really looking forward to throwing these things in my new house and it's gonna be a complete off-grid build. I have my own well, septic, and this will be my power source. I will be putting 30 of the Aptos 440 watt panels on the roof of the house. I'll be putting another 16 of those on the barn. I'm doing two separate systems. On my house roof, I have enough room for 45 panels. So eventually, I will be filling that up with solar panels. Unfortunately, I will not be able to put them all into here because uh, I used the EG4 solar string sizer for the 12,000 and it said I can put four strings of 10 panels into the, the two charger controllers in here. So that'll be pretty much maxed out, but I will have room for five more and I will probably use that space to run one of the EG4 24K BTU hybrid mini splits to heat and cool the house. So I'll have five solar panels to tie into that and help supplement that as well. So that's my thoughts on this here 12,000 XP. I have nothing bad to say about it. I am very confident in this thing supplying all the power I need for my new property. And I'm really looking forward to getting it in there. I'm really getting, looking forward to hooking all this stuff up and getting all those panels mounted and just living off grid. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, stick around to my channel. I will be throwing some updates up. Uh, we are getting ready to pour some concrete for the house. Uh, yeah, it's it was a vacant lot. I got tree cutting in the driveway, putting in driveway, prepping pads for the barn, prepping pads for the house. It's awesome. It's gonna be great. I hope you stick around. I'll see you in the next video.